Don't even open your mouth. You don't have no Vinny, reason to talk. Vinny, just shut I'm up. A, I'm a big just fan of you. Just do me a favor and shut up I'm respectfully. I'm a big fan of you. And, okay, and but, yo, but hold on. I'm a hold big on. fan don't of you, so I don't want you bro. to die. I feel like you your heart pressure is going up. You, <laughs> you're turning, you say, you're turning wait, red, Vinny. Somebody like you <laughs> to say America deserved 9-11 the sign. You shouldn't be on this panel. I'm sorry for my language, Piers. He doesn't belong on your show. That being said, <laughs> Piers, it'll be a huge Are you challenge. Triggered, Vinny? Huge challenge for Did Democrats. We Donald Trump? When I said that, if Piers hadn't interjected, he would have died. As you were watching last night's debate, what was going through your mind? I was right. Um, so, <laughs> I, as you know, I took an extraordinary step of running for president against Joe Biden in the Democratic primary, even though I'm not even a natural born citizen, uh, because that's how. Desperate I was, our audience was, we did a poll and we asked our paying members, should I run? And not, and now nine months ago, 76% of them said, for God's sake, run. Wait, I missed this part? That's kind of an L. It wasn't 100%. Like, those are your paying <laughs> members, man. <laughs> Why wouldn't they want you to be president? Or at least, like, try to run for president? That means 24% of his paid fans said no. It was obvious. And what I took away from it, Piers, and what's... What Don't care, still voting junk everyone should remember is how much democratic leadership lied to you and how much everyone in mainstream media lied to you they said the emperor had clothes when it was obvious that he had no clothes this is from today yeah it's from this morning what is the playbook here well are we into unprecedented territory because i don't think any incumbent president in american history who is seeking to be re-elected and hasn't stood down uh, has ever been forced out. There's no mechanism to actually force him out unless he voluntarily goes, is there? Yeah, there is one mechanism, unfortunately, and it's the donors. Uh, because once the donors stop funding him, uh, then he'll have no oxygen left. Remember, for someone who's a populist like Bernie Sanders, their source of power is the people. But for people like Biden, who are establishment candidates, their source of power is money. And once the money tap is turned off, then... He's got no oxygen left. So I don't care what Jill Biden thinks. Are you, like, who's insane enough to care what she thinks? I don't care what Kamala Harris thinks. How can you not love this man, dude? God, I love my uncle. Strongest candidate against Trump. Is democracy on the line or isn't it? Is, is this the most important? I love when he gets mad. He's like, is democracy on the line or isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. My goat, dude. An election of our lifetime. Or isn't it? So I literally only did this. I only did this panel because Jank was doing it. I was like, I just want to stand there and nod. Just go, yep, he's right. He's <laughs> cooking. So now they're talking about, oh, whose personality should we? Bronny and LeBron. I'm the LeBron to his Bronny. Come on now. Care more about Who, whose feelings are more important. None of your feelings are important. What's important is that the American people be safe from Donald Trump. And let's be honest, Democratic leadership has never cared about that. And Piers, let's tell your audience why. Because remember, almost everyone on Biden's team, at the White House, on his campaign, at the Democratic National Committee, they're just- I was gonna go in for a nail biter because the camera was not on me and then it swapped back and I was like, yeah, I see that. Biden supporters and friends have publicly concluded, this is from you know people like uh, Frank Bruni at the New York Times and others who just come out and said, you've got to stand down. Did you see anything last night that would allow you to construct an argument that he should continue and be the nominee? Biden continuing? Absolutely not. But um, there's another... Yeah, I, I like how leftists have been saying for ages now, like, the Dems have to replace Biden. They have to. And nobody gave a shit. And then they saw his performance. And they were like, yo, Biden not looking too good. Stephen, I think we need to kill him. Glaringly obvious problem here. Jake and I have had this conversation personally uh, for years at this point, very publicly about Biden being ineligible to run and how he's going to lead to the downfall of the Democratic Party and, and potentially lose a pretty easy to win election against Donald Trump at this point. And we were absolutely right. And it was shocking that so many in the media who are now writing those articles that you're talking about were acting as though Biden was actually a dynamo behind the scenes. After, I mean, there was literally an article I remember from an excerpt from a Jill Stein book about how 
uh, in order to soften the blow of Biden's uh, age and, and how old and senile he's appearing on television, they were saying that he had really hard sex with his wife. I mean, that's to the extent that these guys went to in order to try and manufacture this narrative. And to anyone with eyes and ears. I'm not wrong. I mean, they did that. Don't say, huh? That is real. <laughs> they did that, bro. That is a thing that happened. That is a thing that actually happened. You cannot get mad at me for saying something that they objectively did do. Oh, I don't care comments. that they Thank don't know you. what I'm talking about. It's something that literally happened. I wanted to show the extent of the mania from the Democratic Party in terms of like the operatives coming out and being like, this is how great Biden really is. February 25th, 2024. Good sex is secret. The Joe Biden's long marriage new book. I remember this. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy that they did that. Mayor Cat, I know you want to lick me, but your tongue is so harsh. Like, what if you didn't do that? I know you want to, but your tongue is is cooking me right now. I don't want to be exposed. First lady says, "Joe Thick ate." I mean, for sure, the Bidens have cock meat. Like that's not what? contested. Oh yeah, right. Because of Hunter. Yeah, yeah, that's true. One hundred percent proven. Okay, I have seen not one but two Biden cocks at this point. Both Hunter Biden and even Joe Biden's brother. And both of them are hanging dong. It's true. They have nice dick meat. You know, it's not a wild estimate. Nice dick meat is crazy. Mason to make that Joe Biden is also hanging dong meat. Now, Vinny, here's the thing. Trump had a great night. I mean, the, even the CNN poll, 67% of CNN viewers felt that Trump put in a better performance than 33% for Biden. God knows who the 33% were, but... Um, he obviously won the debate very comfortably just by just not doing very much particularly special. Um, but if they do get rid of Biden and they do parachute in somebody like Gavin Newsom, who's young, he's dynamic, he's not afraid to get into the horses, cat, uh, into the lion's den. He went on Fox News with Sean Dude, Hannity. he's for so enough. handsome. That's why he's there, because he's hot. And I'm unafraid to say it. Vinny, for those of you who don't know, which is probably many of you, unfortunately, because you aren't here when we're getting value-tained, it seems, is a pivotal part of the value-tainment podcast led by Patrick Bud David, who also is like Bizarro Jank, another person that I love. Stupid Sexy Vinny is also a person that I love. He's just a hot man. That's what it is, okay? He's eloquent. He's sharp. Yes, he's got a record that can be attacked. But in terms of the visual optics, would that not concern you a bit? Uh, as a as a Trump fan, as a Republican, that you might end up out of this victory with a far more difficult opponent to try and defeat in November? Don't put anything past the Democrats. The, the fact that Gavin Newsom can sit there co and, and literally look at somebody in the face and say, Joe Biden's presidency has been a master class. That Gavin Newsom is one of the, the most disgusting snakes in the grass. Just look at look at California. OK, I even have to write this down, uh, Pierce. Highest taxes in the nation. Thousands of businesses have left. Mandatory vaccine bills. Losing child custody. Over I love that he had to write those things down. If you want to understand how stupid he is, he's like, what did you write down? Oh, mandatory vaccine bills. Like, that's what you couldn't remember. Like, it's not like you're giving. <laughs> <laughs> data. You're not putting forward data. You wrote down California bad, and I hate it. They're making the kids gay. <laughs> Over if your child doesn't transition, seven dollar gas. This is, and I'm telling you right now, uh, Pierce, it's scary as hell. And I don't care what anybody says. This has all been a plan. Okay, they moved the debates up early. All right, they didn't give him any whatever he was on on the, on the uh, State of the Union. Pierce, that that 60 minutes, he was up. They probably gave him adrenaline. He was there. He was in the moment. This was the time where they put him out there like a sacrificial lamb. They said, listen, Jill, we're not going to give Joe any drugs. We're going to roll him out there. He looked lost. He had no idea what he's going to do. I think the shift is going to happen 100%. There is absolutely no way they're going to stay with him. And that is going to be a huge challenge. Bro, he just gets progressively more red when he's talking. And I personally love that. Like, it's that's great. His, that's his quirk. That's his secret superpower. He just, like, gets more and more red. Republicans, because all this, because we've had a case study, uh, Pierce. We've had four years of Trump, and now we're going to have four years of Biden. There is no debate. There's no arguing. Dude, look at his neck veins. Dude. Oh, my. He's pushing oh, that my. Out, dude. Ooh. <laughs> put that away. The country is 
right now. And I know Hassan said, you know, Trump was talking about the border and the illegals are the problem. They are the problem, okay? They are. Carrie mentioned one story. There's been four this week, four, of young girls getting raped and murders. And people like that that say, oh, it's not really, it's not really a problem. You say that because it's not happening to you or your family or your daughter or your mother, okay? It is a problem. And by the end of this four I years, the I, number's I, probably going to be 18 million. Whole state of California. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I live in California. Yeah, it, yeah. We are a yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, state I know. as it's the a, governor it's a also mentioned. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole yeah, oh, yeah, it's are a you, total hellhole, dude. California I know. is a show. Stinking. Look at yeah, your yeah. pan. Oh, yeah, it's sinking. By the way. I'm sorry. I just wanted to see how far I could take this. Like, I wanted to see what would happen. It just, I had to. I had to. Is it productive? No. Okay. But when you see an opportunity to see just how red a human being can get, <laughs> this is like a sign. I sounded diabolical for this. He's so diabolical for this. Take it from a druggie. This guy is coked out of his mind. Coke is a vasoconstrictor as well. So it blocks. Sorry, sorry. It constricts your blood vessels. Oh, dude, that guy looks like coked as fuck. He looks like he has coke for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Science experiment at this point. Like, I wanted to do this. Scientists are saying this is the most red a man can get. Watch, because you think he's red right now. Just you wait. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, it's a whole yeah, lot. Oh, yeah, you're, it's a are total you, are you hell hell California is sinking. Look at yeah, your yeah. pan. Oh, yeah, it's sinking. By the way, first of all, <laughs> I don't respect any <laughs> Nepo baby that thinks Twitch streaming is a job. And mind you, I want the audience to know this guy, Hassan, has said in the past that America... I think he wrote that down, too. <laughs> He's looking at his notes. Deserve 9-11. So don't even talk. Don't even open your mouth. Don't even open your mouth. You don't have no Vinny, reason to talk. Vinny, Just shut I'm up. A, I'm a big Just fan of you. Just do me a favor you. and shut up I'm respectfully. I'm a big fan of you. And, okay, and but yo, but hold on. I'm a hold big on. fan don't of you, so I don't want you to die. I feel like you your heart pressure is going up. You, <laughs> you're turning, you say, you're turning oh, wait, red, Vinny. Somebody like you <laughs> to say America deserve 9-11, Hassan, you shouldn't be on this panel. I'm sorry for my language, Pierce. He doesn't belong on your show. That being said, <laughs> Pierce, it'll be a huge Are you challenge. Triggered, Vinny? Huge challenge for Democrats. We Donald Trump? When I said that, if Pierce hadn't interjected, he would have died. When I said Are you triggered <laughs> Vinny and he heard it, look at his face. You shouldn't be on this panel. I'm sorry for my language, Pierce. He doesn't belong on your show. That being said, <laughs> Pierce, it'll be a huge Are you challenge. Triggered, Vinny? Huge challenge. I'm starting to think that he doesn't like you. Yeah, it was very sad. I like him a lot. But yeah, he had to Pierce had to Join in and, and cut it out because otherwise he was going to die. Can we invoke Donald Trump not right all, now and say streamer. let's not be children? Yeah, I think Vinny, that's a very good Vinny. tool, Jenna. Yeah, no, I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Let's not play that game. Do you know what was interesting? What was interesting? Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. What was interesting about last night, actually? I'll bring Cheng back in here. I thought I like the former, actually, of... Piers loved that, by the way. Piers f***ing loved that. Look. Look at his face. Children? Yeah, I think Vinny, that's a very good Vinny, tool, Jenna. Yeah, I don't think you're trying to keep trying to keep not, things. Can we get back to the, the only one not laughing is Jay. He was dude. Pierce is so he is so content brained. You know he's loving every minute of this. He's like, my ratings are so up ever since I brought Twitch streamers onto my platform. This is such a smart idea. <gasps> I got this red looking motherfucker. I got this failed president jank holding frame, holding some lady, obviously diversity, DEI, you guys know the drill. And then we got motherfucking Hasi. He was disappointed, I think. He was mad. Do you know what was interesting? What was interesting? Well, hang on, hang yeah. on, hang on. What was interesting about last night, actually? I'll bring Cheng back in here. I thought, I like the former, actually, of the way CNN did this. I thought Jake Tapper and Dana Bash did a very competent job. But also, I like the format where there was no audience to manipulate, perhaps, or save a candidate for themselves. He's so mad he had to drink his water. <laughs> and there's actually a really easy way to replace him. All he has to do is say, I'm out. And then we go back to a traditional convention where yeah. the delegates decide. That's almost always how Americans and by the way, their by the way, I think candidates we discussed, anyway. Yeah, we discussed it before, but two incumbent Democrat presidents since the end of World War II have both stood down in election year, Harry Truman and uh, Lyndon Johnson. So there's a... Do I agree with Jank that Biden will drop out? I agree with Jank that where he says the donors will try and force Biden to drop out. Because he's not just saying, like, Biden's going to drop out on his own volition. He knows that Biden is deranged lunatic, in his words, that is, like, incredibly narcissistic and operating on 
pure resentment and fumes. Do you think there's any chance of the 25th Amendment? I said last night that I think it's the funniest thing that could happen. And then the Republicans stop it because they think Biden is like a much better candidate to run against than anyone else. Precedent here for, for this to happen. It yeah. just hasn't happened where the incumbent president doesn't want to go. Uh, General, I want to bring you in just on one point, which is the behavior of Jill Biden after the debate. <laughs> Vinny, why does he look teary-eyed? Vinny's still mad that he has to sit on a panel with a Twitch streamer, as opposed to what he does, which is, I think, being like the third most relevant guy on the Patrick Bet David Valuetainment podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do anything. I, on the other hand, am valuetaining people. I didn't even say anything. I just said he looks red and he's got a tan and he's getting progressively redder i even said i was a fan of his does this mean you're not getting invited to pbd are you kidding me patrick bed david is a f entertainment demon he is a valuetainment demon he knows good content when he sees it if anything this would mean i would go on patrick bed david extra hard the only thing standing in my way of going on patrick bed david is my lack of interest in ever flying to the state of florida i hope you guys understand that first of all these guys i mean look at the people in power whether it's media or democratic leadership they're all crying because, uh, oh, their beloved Joe Biden uh, didn't look good. Uh, I mean, this guy uh, just sent $20 billion to slaughter more Palestinian children. I, I cry for them. I don't cry for Joe Biden. This uh, Joe Biden is taking corporate donations his entire life. He used to be Tell known him, as a Jake. senator from MBNA. Get him, Unc! You scrolling <laughs> world? No, my phone wasn't even on me. You guys are wrong. I was just, like, looking down. I was just bored and forgetting that the camera's on me it's a classic <laughs> corporate corrupt dude at this point it's been 43 minutes and i waited for 30 minutes listening to peers get interviewed by some footballer because he was like 30 minutes late to his own broadcast and he made us just sit there and listen he made us sit there and listen to that interview so yeah i'm bored i'm in a crammed ass space in like a van i might have actually written some stuff on hoscord a little bit in between <gasps> Boy, any of this like oh my god he was such a good person Piers does not respect you yes he does not that is true I, I don't think he does i think he likes the drama that i bring and the eyeballs that i bring to a show but he does not like me he likes jank you can tell the difference between someone Piers actually likes and someone Pierce actually doesn't like. He'll let his guests, or sometimes himself, rabidly come after people that he doesn't like. He likes Jank, so he'll like, you know, let Rabbi Shmuley do his thing, but then he'll like usually cut it out or let Jank pop off too. Whereas with me, he brings me on because I bring eyeballs, I bring drama, and also he can unload into me, both himself and also his panelists. Do I like Piers? I like Piers. To be fair, I did call him a baboon in a suit. Like I said, he's a monkey. <laughs> you know, it's not necessarily like the best introduction to me, but I think he just brings me on so he can like rip into me or have the panelists rip into me. You know, I just push back and it's win-win. If I get owned, then it's great. Kami owned, Lamau. And if I don't get owned, and I push back, then it's a really viral moment for him, for his show. Who would your preference be for who that person should be that could actually be the nominee and potentially beat Trump? So the problem with the Democratic Party is that they never pick a populist in a populist time. Mm. They keep picking the most establishment candidates there are when the American people keep telling you they don't want establishment candidates like Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden. So they I mean, should yeah. pick a populist, but they won't. Of course, the top candidate is... Cenk is cooking here. I mean, you can disagree with him and you can disagree with the Young Turks. I certainly do. But he's right. The Democrats are not going to win with Biden or anyone like Biden. Like, they are not going to bring in huge swaths of voters with people like that. Sanders, and he would easily, easily beat Donald Trump. Everybody actually knows that. They just don't. And it, let's be honest, the Democratic Party. And yeah, if the done. DNC pumped Bernie, I don't know about now, to be quite honest, I don't know. But if they had actually pumped him correctly the first time, it, it would have been over. But why would the DNC ever do that? Donald Trump than Bernie Sanders. So but if you say, no, Bernie Sanders is too old or we, we can't have it. You can go to Ro Khanna, You can go to Jamie Raskin. Jamie Raskin is beloved by everyone in the Democratic Party. He's incredibly smart, incredibly principled. Picks, I mean, he would eviscerate Donald Trump in a debate. Let's pick someone who can win and actually represent the people. OK, um, before I come to Hassan, actually, let me just that get Vinny's reaction. There's a that. delay. <laughs> One name. I'm afraid I'm going to disagree with you. There's a delay that head tilt for, for Ro Khanna, for the record. I was like. Yeah, go on then. OK, Hassan, you respond. Yeah. Uh, OK. First of all, Big Gretch, that's it. That's the method, that's the movement, okay? Put Mama Gretch in office, okay? She's popular, she's in a pivotal state, 
she would absolutely crush it. You got, I don't like Gavin Newsom at all. I think he has a lot of weaknesses. I think he's horrible. He's done an abysmal job uh, refusing to fix the housing crisis in California that's obviously contributing to the homelessness crisis so that, you know, uh, guys like Vinny can complain about how much of a whole California the, is. Or the benefit of, of uh, Gavin Newsom, there's one, one reason to run Gavin Newsom, uh, and it, this, it's the reason that the DNC will most likely run Gavin Newsom. One, pretty. Two, a lot of people know who he is. Just being someone that voters know and being someone that is attractive is already huge. And the reason why people will frequently disagree is because they are highly political brained and they don't realize the vast majority of the country is not political brained. If you talk to the average American and you ask them who they vote for, they're going to tell you every election, I promise you, they're going to tell you, well, I'm voting for this guy because like, isn't he good? I know who he is. He's, he seems like a cool guy. If you ask people why they voted Biden, because and, and you have to remember your understanding of politics is like 10 times greater than the understanding of politics for like the average American. And if you talk to the average American, you're like, hey, who would you vote for? Why did you vote Biden? They're like, well, wasn't Biden like with Obama and like Obama was great, right? So yeah, I'm just going to vote for Biden. He's better than Trump. Gavin Newsom has the same thing going for him. Attractive, good at speaking, good stage presence, and people know who he is and don't immediately have a negative opinion of him. And those three things alone, having those three things alone, will do more for you than anything else. That is the only reason that Gavin, and the DNC would run him because he's an establishment dem. It's more leftist than the other establishment dems, maybe, but like, yeah. Most Americans think that California is a hel lib hellscape. Gavin being from California will make him lose swing votes universally. I don't know why people also parrot this opinion as well. Trump has disproved that a hundred times over. Trump has disproved this like a hundred times. The fact that Trump has won over the middle Americans, despite being a almost billionaire, <laughs> okay, from New York with a Trump tower, People, his fans, his voter base have seen his gold toilet and they see no problem with it. All right. New York and California, though, New York is big wigs, Wall Street, people who don't care about your interests, though. Like people associate establishment with New York. Normies aren't, uh, fucking the average normie doesn't even know who the Speaker of the House is. If you think that they know that Gavin Newsom is from California and he's going to ruin the country with California politics, you vastly misunderstand what the liberal mind looks like. Which, uh, to be fair, I don't blame any of you for thinking that, right? To be very, very clear. It's because how could you just vote based on vibes? What the fuck is wrong with you? You vote based on vibes for, like, the class president. You vote based on vibes for, like, game shows. You don't vote based on vibes for, like, who's running your fucking country, dude. And the liberal mind is a very confusing thing, to be very clear. As a Californian, Gavin is like not liked by most of us. As a Californian, Gavin is dog shit. As a Californian... Most people don't care enough about politics to go further than, yeah, I mean, he's cool. He seems like a cool guy. Dude, we wasted $300 million just so that he could stay in his seat. Do you guys remember this? To say a lot of people don't like him. Uh, do you remember when he hosted like a dinner party without masks while closing the state down and then we blew $300 million? To oust him and then guess what? Nothing happened. Nothing fucking happened. You're misunderstanding two different groups of people and putting them in one. Liberals and leftists are different. Okay? They're different. Liberals vote based on aesthetics. Their opinion on Gavin Newsom is not based in reality. It's based in aesthetics. 
I'm Mexican. My grandparents wanted to vote Bloomberg because he was running ads where he spoke Spanish. You guys are also misunderstanding one very important thing as well, which is leftists are, uh, they have huge egos, <laughs> okay? Sorry to oust all of you like this, I'm my bad. And they feel like you have to earn their vote, which to be clear, I agree with, but they're also the least likely to go and vote. Why would anyone ever appeal to you? Guess what? Liberals, they go and vote <laughs> because they think voting is the end all be all. Name recognition is huge. It's huge. Add to that attractiveness and ability to public speak, and you are such a winning candidate. You are such a winning candidate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that's the truth. Tis the truth. Or whatever people talk about, like that would stick yep, uh, on a national level on Gavin Newsom. Don't turn Cal don't turn the rest of the country into California would be the attitude. Uh, another good guy, I think, uh, another great guy, J.B. Pritzker, governor of Illinois. We need a big boy in office. We need we need a dynamo. We need a guy with a kind heart. You know, he could oh, even I'm not me. I'm not exactly a fan of uh, him being a billionaire, but ultimately you know, maybe maybe we could have a so real billionaire stupid. against the uh, Donald Trump's phony billionaire status. Who knows? Anyone would be better than uh, than than Joe Biden at this point. Even Hillary Clinton. Well, I was okay. Well, that's be interesting. So, okay. At this point, that's interesting. Is, so, just, I mean, for those who don't know, think, well, yeah, you... unironically, people would vote Hillary over Biden. He does not agree with that. What... Hillary can still make sentences. What is this? You really said this on Piers? Yes, I did. Because I'm ha dude, this is I'm not taking it very seriously. I don't know if you guys can recognize that from the I don't think so. Guys, she won the popular vote. She to the people saying she wouldn't beat him, she literally beat him in the popular vote. You guys misunderstand how much liberals love Hillary. The problem is that people had no negative experience with Trump yet. And so they voted Trump. Oh my God, fan behavior. Hassan banned me and I fully agree with him on Palestine, the economy, quality, equity, etc. He doesn't like it when you badmouth the CCP. Freaking banned me because I didn't like the organ harvesting. What the fuck? Well, you're going to get banned here too for being annoying. We only have two rules and you, you broke them. I'm sorry. I don't like annoying people. And you are, I'm sorry to tell you, annoying. And I did everything right and they banned me. <laughs> Using, but I'm not exactly taking this the most seriously, but I'm just having fun with it. I'm freestyling. Okay. <laughs> I said Mama Gretch. Yeah, just, why I, hang on, hang on. So, for those who don't know who the Gretch is, by the way, it's the Michigan governor we Gretchen uh, Whitmer. But I want to come to, I want to come to Vinny. Hillary Clinton's name is being talked up here. As potentially no. the unfinished business. To be very clear, I would explode if Hillary won. Like, I would actually, like, I don't. Only for the sole reason that, like, I want Kamala Harris as the first president, and I'm currently betting all of my money on uh, Kamala Harris taking over because she would be such a hilarious first female president. If I have to have a first female president, I want it to be a woman on like a cocktail of drugs, not Hillary. Ugh, boring, dude. Come on. Come on. First zooted president? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, dude. If the country's going to be run by Trump... And that's where we're at. Like, if we're going full valuetainment, I want to go full valuetainment, and it doesn't get more valuetainment than this. I love Venn diagrams. <laughs> <laughs>
I really do. I love Venn diagrams. It's just something about those three circles and the analysis about where there is the intersection, right? Yeah, I see people, that, you agree with me, right? So, okay, so I asked my team, I, I brought props. I love Venn diagrams. <laughs> I love her. I, she was. She is the peak valuetainment, dude. She. It's her. It's her. We need Mamala. What is this? I'm in the K hive now. If Gavin Newsom tries to steal it from her at the convention, what I'm going to say is uh, to Kamala. We need you to be Mamala of the country. <laughs> <laughs> me thank you for the 18 months. Thank you. <laughs> You've seen the way she talks about buses? It's amazing. It's amazing. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. If we have to have a piece of shit establishment dem sitting in power, okay, can I get someone funny? Can I get someone that's a little funny? Like, if I have to get, if I have to pick between Trump and someone else, I would much rather have at least someone that brings me some pleasure in life. Jesus. Oh, man. The entertainment would be crazy, dude. The content brain is going crazy right now. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> I, I just uh, I don't know how anybody is allowed to say that in public. I'm in the K-Hive now. If Gavin Newsom... <laughs> we need you to be Mamala. Harris. <laughs> Can you imagine a Trump v. Kamala Harris debate? Oh, that would be amazing. Oh my God. It would be so good. It'd be so good. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> <laughs> it would be so good, dude. Come on. You guys are wrong if you disagree. You guys are wrong if you disagree. Anyways, back to the video. She comes sweeping back and she does what she... I was going to say Hillary Clinton might do better than Joe Biden, but not by a lot and might still lose. But they cut me off before I could finish that point. But it doesn't matter. Who do not come. Whatever. She failed to do in 2016 and she actually beats him. What are your thoughts about Hillary returning? You know what, Piers? I think she's, abs she's, she's finished. Hillary Clinton has no chance. I think, I think every single time... She gets in front of a, a camera. Bro, I can't get over Jenks that Dems would take Trump over Bernie. That's crazy as... No, it's not. He's 100% right on that. They basically did that in 2016, by the way. They 100% would because they did. Also, do you guys not remember 2020? What are you talking about? The Democratic Party and the media apparatus would absolutely, without a shred of doubt, pick Donald Trump over Bernie Sanders. There were people that were openly writing think pieces on this, by the way, uh, when, the, when the Bernie was a prospect. Democratic... Uh, party. I think she's the worst from her history with her and her husband. It's just, it's it's abysmal. Let's not even get into Hill the Clinton Foundation and Epstein and her husband. That's a whole different can of worms. But I think it's funny how everybody on the left is so, you know, uh, this whole failed presidency is because of Biden's age and his dementia, which he definitely has. Whoever's going to come in, it's the Democratic Party's policies. Plain and simple. I don't give a damn who you put in there, Gretch, Bernie Sanders, communism, you want socialism, you want all that crap. It's not going to fix anything. That's going to keep going. I love people going, Bernie showed us his true colors on genocide. F him. Brother, it's not going to happen anyway. But like, that's such a funny f take to have. Like, yeah, okay, tomorrow Bernie Sanders is going to be president over Joe Biden. And you're like, nah, he still loves genocide. So no. Like, what are you talking about? We're talking about like what the realistic options are. Bernie is not even in there, but in the hypothetical that he is, what are you going to be like? No, I'm not even entertaining the hypothetical. He's not sufficiently, you know, up to snuff. We're talking about the leader of the Democratic Party. <laughs> like, what, what do you mean? That is so beyond comprehension for me because it's so unimaginably unrealistic that like that would ever happen. But it, but I do love entertaining the idea that there's people there. There's people out there that would be like, no, nah, I actually don't like Bernie as the leader of the Democratic Party. As opposed to who? As opposed to who? Like, what do you want? Embalmed Lenin? Embalmed Mao? <laughs> Embalmed Ho Chi Minh? Like, who? Who? Who's out there? Who is a better Democratic <gasps> Party candidate? Like, Bernie's old. And I think that's a major weakness for him. And especially when everyone's, like, personally talking about how 
unimaginably old uh, Biden is, that would be a relatively weak substitution and less likely. But like, why are we, why are we even having this conversation over like something that's never going to happen because it's so goddamn beyond the pale. Like it's so goddamn unimaginable. And there's chatters who are still like, nah, even in that hypothetical, I don't with them. Moron that they wheel out there now on purpose like a sacrificial lamb with no drugs and everything to now to turn. You notice, Pierce, every other debate, every CNN anchor, everybody that was moderating would cut Trump off. They would yell. They would stop. Mm -hmm. Notice how they sat there. Jay Tapper and Dana Bash, they were quiet. They let everything pull out. This was all on purpose. And I think that Hillary Clinton's on the table. I think Gavin uh, Newsom for sure. He was the only one there. You notice that? Uh, he had good gel in his hair. I've he was said, I've said, listen, I've said for so, I've Why is he always so angry? You know, maybe this is not a question to ask 48 minutes into the video, but like, it is kind of weird because like, you could ask him a question about like what he ate for lunch and he would respond with this energy where he's like so mad at you. He's behaving like Pierce Morgan has insulted his mother, his dead. I mean, the people want to be valutained. They want to see him get red. That's what they want mother in front of this crowd the way he's popping off who jenna if you were if you were a democrat right now who would you think uh, i had a little bit of a moment with her because she was like chirping about abortion and like how radical big gretch was look at how she's run her state as a, as basically taking her, legislative power into the executive so she she is what's, she look and look at her position, what's her, what's her on, her position on abortion so that she you find is so for, extreme Abortion. Um, so her. I love that she said extreme leftist establishment. By the way, she's not exactly the brightest crayon. Okay, <laughs> like she said, Andrew Yang would be great. She said she supported Ron DeSantis. Ridiculous stuff. Uh, overall, this is like the pink hair on the panel. Okay, like the last time I was on, Piers always has to fill the panel with like one person who just doesn't know what the f they're saying. Like at least Vinny, despite being a trt monster is like at least one entertaining and two has like a tangible position she on the other hand is just she has no position she's the no position candidate she's the center candidate she's just there to just do this okay and have a little bit of air time so that maybe she can cut together like a like a video and and give that to her middling agent who will then be able to put her on like actual tv shows like msnbc this or is crazy whatever uh, that's the reason why she's here she's just trying to have like airtime. so she's that's like crazy. Oh, yeah. gretchen Whitmer has radical positions on abortion okay radical right. positions one on second i have to steal hassan's content since he's always stealing other people's content i need water or like something to drink so let me go get some like something to drink i'll be right back i'm dying of thirst Abortion on abortion that is so extreme is that she wants uh, no limits at all, yeah. no restrictions. And most of the country is not for that. Um, even the Democrats themselves know that there needs to be some restrictions, at least in. So there's like a bunch of different things I wanted to say here to be like, one, most of the country is in agreement on our side of the spectrum when it comes to abortion. That's why Donald Trump is not defeating Joe Biden handily currently. One, you are a woman. Oh, I did do the you are a woman. I asked her if she's ever been pregnant, but then they cut me off again. Also, it's a lie. Governor Whitmer is in favor of Roe v. Wade in general. I did oh, here. You'll see in a third second. Term. No, that is absolutely true. And I mean, feel free to fact check me on that if she's changed her position. But no restrictions the on the Democrat third trimester leftists. is a falsehood. That's not a real thing. Every conversation that's, that we have no, with Republicans, unfortunately, state, revolves my, around no, hang on, hang on. hallucinations my, my of Republicans. Home, my former home state there is of no, Colorado no third... allows abortion until the day of birth. Uh, yes, all third trimester abortions in every single state still has to have some kind of medical necessity. They get so mad when you call them out on this lie. I know. They need to have some kind of medical necessity. There needs to be some kind of issue that is presented to the carrier there's no like recreational voluntary abortions happening in the third trimester it's also one percent of abortions 15,000 abortions total it's a ridiculous misnomer it's just like silly thing to have a conversation around people are not carrying pregnancies over the course of three trimesters to have a fun abortion like a fun abortion on their own just for the sake of it pure republican mania that is the law in seven states right now including there california where gavin newsom no, is the governor there is so no there state, are people there is no that can state go in, yes, in the country there, where you can have a yes. third trimester abortion without a without Colorado, a doctor california, giving you a medical states. exemption 
No, you still have to no, get look at a the law. psychiatric look at the evaluation law. and it doesn't matter whether and a, a healthcare evaluation. That, no, but they, it's still Do allowed. You think That's the women? point. Dude, you guys want to know something so insane? Third trimester abortions oftentimes are not even covered by insurance. It is a three-day process for the most part. You're basically inducing a birth in that situation because it's on the third trimester. It is a really complicated procedure. That's number one. And number two, beyond the, the fact that the procedure itself is complicated and it's like inpatient surgery, you have to be in the hospital for three days to be able to get it done beyond the fact that you need multiple checks and multiple medical evaluations leading up to the third trimester abortion otherwise you could possibly die during the process regardless of all of that reality it's also usually not covered by insurance it could cost up to twenty five thousand dollars in this country besides the point and here's the most significant part of this conversation okay not only is it traumatic you have carried a baby for nine months at that point, or at least for two trimesters. That is insane to think that like people are going to go out and get a third trimester abortion for the funsies. And the elective aspect of it in terms of the psychiatric damage that the patient has, the carrier has, if you want to eliminate that in its entirety, then make healthcare free, make it so that people can figure out that they're pregnant early on with sex ed, so that there's no one that has to think about it or try to do GoFundMe fundraisers so they can actually get the $25,000 to be able to get an abortion. And by the time that that fundraiser is over, you're in the third trimester. Oh, I hate this conversation so much. The idea, and by the way, that's the reason why I asked her, like, have you ever been pregnant? Which I, which will come up in a second. Men are the going point around. is that it is still allowed. Okay, you're a woman. You're a woman. You're a woman. Have you ever been pregnant? I have a yeah. question for you. Have you, have, or I don't know. Have you? Okay, that, so you know how tumultuous is of a process that is. Here, but it's, it's I actually, am a, and so I mean, no, have you is, ever been it pregnant? Is because how the point are I'm you, making how is, are you, how it is a, how are you it is obviously, it is obviously irrelevant. A, the point I've never here been pregnant, is that but it, but it seems like I understand as it as, best, as as good as you do. What's happening no, here? No, you actually if don't no understand it because a pregnancy of the law for nine in months, states, so they can have a regular. Ob- whether Hassan is pregnant? I no, no, no. Let me finish answering my right, question. Actually, about so, so Gretchen Whitmer. Guys, you're abortion. talking over each other. She didn't have to answer that question. The point is, third trimester abortions are not only unimaginably rare, but they're never actually like elective in the sense that like you just carried it up until that point, so you can get the abortion in some instances the elective aspect of it they call it elective but like the elective aspect of it is because the pregnancy was caught far too late as a direct consequence of not having access to health care in terms of that trying to legislate this away so you make it super complicated for the people that literally have like this procedure only out of medical necessity is insanely cruel also yes i was pregnant and i gave birth to a bear and pregnant it's real. This is my daughter. I gave birth to her. I have some breaking news for, that, for everyone. Uh, the Biden campaign spokesperson, Seth Schuster, says that Biden will not be exiting the race. There's no I And then back. my goat, Harry Sasson, comes yeah, in. I got, I got some salad. I got a drink and I got some salad. I got enough to share if you guys like salad. Why is everyone saying Hassan gave birth to Kaya? Yeah. Basis for that. There's nothing that voters have indicated that they agree with that. Senior White House correspondent at CNN, uh, Kayla Tausch, said on X, not only does POTUS not plan to drop out... Oh, you just said that? Oh. ...incredibly to a second debate in September, an advisor tells me. I cannot see that happening. But we actually have now this pro-Biden and thinks that he won last night. It's the TikToker Harry Sisson. Uh, Harry... Um, you think Biden won last night? One person. Yeah, no, I did, definitely. Uh, on the substance of- I got so excited when Harry popped in. <laughs> so the conversation, Biden won. His policy was pragmatic, it was logical, and Donald Trump- This is, a, this is like one of the only remaining pro-Biden TikTokers. I think he might literally be the only one <laughs> at this point. He's like a super riding for Biden TikToker. Him and the other- Kid with the Zoomer haircut. He's the last man standing. I'm not sitting here telling you that Joe Biden tells the truth every single time he speaks or that he gets every single number right and every single t- uh, statistic right. He gets most of them but wrong. To compare, that's not true. This guy has a CIA handler, 1 million percent. 1 million percent has a CIA handler. He's like actually literally on a DNC payroll. He's also on a Pentagon payroll as well. He just hasn't admitted to it. There's no young people that are excited about Biden. That, that, that person doesn't exist. That's a made up person. Factor fiction, we made it up. There, there's no one, there's no, 
There is no kid out there that is excited about Biden. That doesn't exist. Biden is one of the most boring people on the planet. True. To compare Joe Biden's lies yeah, to Donald Trump's lies him. is laughable. Trump told over 30,000 lies during his presidency, averaging around 20 a day. And he showed that last night when he lied about every single thing. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit proud of him for cooking here. He, he did a good job. Uh, listen, I'm not denying that Trump made a series of, of untrue statements. He does that. He barrels through in hopes that the big messages about the border and so on kick home. And they probably do, actually, with many Americans. But if Biden's going to play the lying card as a pro-Biden thing against Trump, he's got to tell the truth and get his numbers right. He can't then have a fact check from CNN, which was painful to watch last night. It went on and on and on. Almost every statistic he came out with was completely wrong. Yeah, but Pierce, I mean, let's be real here. Like, if you're lying... Oh, Vinny's not going to let him slide either. Vinny's coming back. I love how the Dems are ignoring the opposite of the debate when one of the most important debates ever brought up in any political science or history class the JFK v. Nixon debate where JFK won just because he looked better on TV. And it was also like, I guess at that point, it was like not all that common to have televised debates at all. It was one of those moments where like Nixon was sweating and people could see it. JFK wore makeup and people could see that. And he looked infinitely better in comparison. I think it might have been the first one. Is it? Was it the first one? It was the first. Okay. I didn't want to get it wrong. To be even more specific, it was the first ever televised debate. Uh, debate. And JFK won with TV watchers, but Nixon won with radio listeners. Yeah. You see you the get, one where he said One the... sec, Vinny. You, you look like a... You, relax, buddy. Uh, if you're getting yeah, a number... <laughs> correct, when, if you're getting a number went, incorrect, hey, that's like so, a very so seven small years ago, years old. right there. Can I ask with this TikTokers, <clears throat> Rosie blushes? That shade is so cute. Like, I kind of want some for myself. Wait, like, do you guys see that? He literally has rosy cheeks, like porcelain doll cheeks. Oh my God. <laughs> Drop your routine, girly. Come on. Were you 10 years old, Harry? What was that? How old were you when Trump won? 10 years old? Seven Vinny, years ago, you, you were 10 years old. You look like you're about bro. to explode. You don't know what the hell you're talking take, about. Take a breather. That's not right. Hassan was right to call. You, you, you have makeup. He's entitled his, to his, his son, Listen, yeah. listen, I know his son's a big yeah. fan of mine. He was right to call old. you out for looking like you're about to explode. It's okay. No problem here. Yeah, you were 10 years old when Trump won. You have to level. Get him, Harry. And, and, and you and what are you like 80 like relax buddy take a breather you're okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay. cook this ass dude so what are you like 80 relax buddy he's so mad oh man that made me so happy so good then so then good. yoga Biden's yoga's a, good Biden yoga's good, good. Biden Biden was good. Can i just say it I, doesn't i, I don't actually it. care how old either of you are let's get back to the real reality which is yeah, I'm, I'm, i care about yeah, yeah, the age yeah, yeah. of the president because he looks like he's 180 so listen, uh, harry listen, i'm just being used yeah. i do, 30, I do care 33 percent of people watching it apparently think biden won so like is this the new raj royale like raj royale walked so that Piers Morgan could run. I Wait, don't know. I gotta, I gotta Harry, Harry, on Harry hang on, hang on, Harry. I don't know. How He's getting so mad. Oh, I did have fun. This was like this was probably my most fun Piers Morgan panel. How anybody honestly could watch that debate and honestly conclude that Biden won? You'd have to be so deeply embedded in the Democrat partisan tank that you can't crawl out long enough to see the wood for the trees. So first thing, I want to respond to your uh, lie comment. I, I, I think that, yeah, we want both candidates to be honest, but we have to weigh the, the lies here. Like if Joe Biden gets a statistic incorrect, that is vastly different than Donald Trump still pushing lies about January 6th and about the election. So that's he's such a he is such a good Democratic Party op, by the way. He is so much better than like 90 percent of these dummies in terms of like keeping his cool and just. Take it to the facts. The other thing is liberals have one really bad thing going for them that they really need to work on removing, which is that. They're really annoying and they have a lot of like moral high ground that makes them insufferable and they need someone who doesn't feel like you're fucking annoying uncle or dad talking down to you. Which is why that guy is getting paid the big bucks. The big, big bucks. Vinny talked about Newsom having gel in his hair. Meanwhile, he's got a quart of Kirkland olive oil in his hair. <laughs> Zephyr calling. Thank you for the prime. Thank you. 
sucks. Like, he's actually a very good communicator. Obviously, push comes to shove. He's too little I mean, to talk down to anyone, exactly. The, you know, relentless Brandon Dick Rider, right? Obviously. So it's not like we are in line ideologically. But having said that, I think, especially for his age, like, he's, he's pretty talented. Okay, but Harry, here's the problem. Substance. Harry, here's the problem. He couldn't articulate his views in a way that anyone could really understand. And secondly, and more crucially, in Trump, he has an opponent who tells a lot of untruths. And what you want the President of the United States to do is to be quick-witted enough and sharp enough and intelligent enough to, every time he does that, leap on it and tell the American people why what he said was untrue. Biden was simply incapable of doing any of that. And that's what a lot of Democrats have said overnight is the most problematic thing. It's not that he's old or anything. It's that he was incapable of either articulating policy in a way that resonated uh, or holding Trump to account. And if you can't do that with, with a candidate like Trump, there's no hope. Yeah, except here's that was the, that. Uh, the, the method uh, that Biden was... Hang on a second. I'll come to you in one second. Just let, let Harry respond to that. So a good example... Well, actually, let me let Harry respond. One second. I love your chatter. Send him such a funny community. I have the best chat. I have the best chat. Like, easily most normal leftists are in here. Easily. Sorry. Well, uh, all right. What, what I was going to say is go if ahead, that's the sorry. method that Biden was going to go with, then all of his <laughs> all of his answers would just be fact-checking Trump. He, every two minutes he asks, he has to be like, okay. My delay is so annoying, too. That's the other thing. And that's not any way to win a voter over. Biden, It's I, I would think it's more of the moderator's job to fact-check as opposed to Biden dedicating his entire debate to fact-checking. Biden should be laying out the policy, which he did. Uh, he seemed pretty coherent when he called out Donald Trump for assaulting and raping E. Jean Carroll. And what did you think? Okay, well, that, that, that like about excruciating that. moment when Joe Biden faces... The left is real divided, so we could be good to step back and debate with him. What? Dude, shut up. The left is real divided. <laughs> he's, not, he's a liberal. He's a... Democratic Party spokesperson at this point. What are you talking about? He froze and mumbled his words. He said complete gibberish. And then Donald Trump just said, I don't think even he knows what he just said. Do you, let's just watch this clip. And I'm going to ask you to explain to me what he said. I think more importantly, he's super shameless. That's huge. Kind of wild how shameless he is to just like go, not be devoid of any shame whatsoever to just like go on any broadcast to be like, no, I think... Biden did a banger job. Let's hear Vinny. Vinny's content. Reality. Vinny's content. Let's hear Vinny. It was always obvious how old he was. It was always obvious that he couldn't do this. And I want to thank who, whichever Democrat made the decision to put this before the convention. Because thank God the debate was before the convention so we could pick someone else. If you say at this... I pocket unfollowed and messed up my follow age and all. It's fucked up, Marianne. That's, that's fucked up that you would do. <laughs> No, but that actually is fucked up that Twitch did that to you. There should be something in place to protect you. <laughs> that if you're unfollowed for like less than an hour and it was like a mistake, you fix it. <laughs> but Marianne, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you. At this point, that we shouldn't pick a different candidate. You're saying, I'm super happy to have Donald Trump as president and have him destroy this democracy. It's a betrayal of the Democratic Party. But right now, the RNC should be panicking, not celebrating. Because they're going to get a new candidate, and that new candidate is going to kick Trump's ass. That de debate turned out to be a disaster for both of the candidates. OK, uh, Vinny, I can see you not entirely agreeing with that assessment. I, 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 well, because, because I'm, just, I'm just so <laughs> curious. What threat to democracy? Why didn't he do and burn the country down when he was the president? What, what, why? Why didn't he? All that poo and stuff. Because he's an incompetent fascist. You fucking dipshit. There's a very big difference between a competent and an incompetent fascist. All that BS, it's all these Democrats, you guys all have Stockholm Syndrome, okay? You guys have all fallen in love with your abuser, <laughs> the abusers of the Democratic Party. They don't give a shit about you. They don't care. They don't care. Wheel out whoever you want. It's going to be the same polities. Everything, everything that's happening right now is going to keep happening. What's going to change? You had Harry come on here. The kid, what, what was he, 10 years old? Eight years ago, he's talking about like he's lived a life and he knows what's talking about. And, and for us, for nobody to talk up, what's so good about Joe? What has Joe Biden done? Can anybody give me one thing? And don't say infrastructure. It's absolute show. And it's not him running the show, as we saw yesterday. All right, it's, Hassan, it's, hold on. It's the them. It's it? the them. It's the them. When Look how they mute me when other people are talking. It's kind of up, don't you think? They won't let me chime in. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Hassan wants to give mm -hmm. you one thing, Hassan. It's not even just one thing. Here's thinking back on it, by the way, Vinny getting like 
ass mad and like having his fucking throat veins look like they're about to explode because Hassan is a Twitch streamer. Like, dude, you run like a podcast, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Like, like in bricks and glass houses. Come on, man. Like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, all right, that like a Twitch streamer is a respectable job, okay? All right, that is not what I'm saying. But I'm saying you're not allowed to shit on Twitch streamers when you're a fucking podcaster, okay? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what I'm saying. Only people with real jobs, okay, are allowed to make fun of Twitch streamers. Like, if you're a fucking shoe cobbler, okay, or you, like, build houses and work in construction, okay, you have a real job. You're allowed to make fun of Twitch streamers and podcasters and all those people, all right? I thought it was the hardest job. It is the hardest job. Of course it is. Obviously. Duh. <laughs> but, man, sorry. That was funny as hell. Here's the problem, okay? I don't even li I don't like Joe Biden. He went from Jim Crow Joe to Genocide Joe, and uh, he is a, a monstrous person for the most part, as are many American presidents. Having said that, however, one of the key factors here is that the administration is competent. I use the example of Twitter, right? Twitter used to be run by uh, liberal Jack Dorsey, right? That's his name, I think. Yeah. I can't really remember. And it wasn't yeah. exactly the greatest website. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't the best website. It still had a litany of issues, right? Still breaking people's brains, but at least it functioned. And then Elon Musk took over and we saw exactly what happened to Twitter. It is now a, a right-wing shithole filled to the brim with gore porn and just the worst imaginable positions that you've ever heard and just open white supremacist Nazis getting hundreds of thousands of likes. And that's basically- Y'all- I'm fucking scrolling through. Night of the debate. Having fun. Enjoying myself. Okay? And I see a tweet that says, a lot of people are waking up to the fact that, like, Biden is barely present and are starting to realize that Biden is not the person who runs the country. Like, so I ask you all, who right now is running this fucking country? Tell me why I clicked the post. And I mean, for the rest of us who are politically involved, it's like, yeah, no shit, Biden doesn't make all the decisions and press the inflation button and the gas button and the rent button. Uh, uh, yes, obviously. But tell me why I clicked that post expecting to find people being uh, opened up to leftist ideas uh, so what's on the screen is totally unrelated, but I'm looking through my likes to find the post. You guys get to enjoy this. And tell me why I'm like, I'm like, yeah, maybe they're going to be, it's going to, the replies are going to be filled with people that are like base, right? Like people are realizing, oh, this, this country sucks and, and we need to really like figure this shit out, man. Like really, why are 90% of the replies two things. Does anyone want to guess what the two things were? You guys got one of them. Here's the tweet. The weirdest thing about this is realizing we don't have a president and we haven't had one for a while and nobody has any clue on who's making decisions on behalf of our country and no one bothers to ask. Who exactly is in charge? Nobody knows. Why, 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 why are like not, why are like 90% of the replies Jews and Obama? Like we have one person being based lobbyists. Oh my God, you fucking did it, dude. You fucking, yes, yes. The riches of the rich. What do you mean Obama? <laughs> What do you mean Obama? <laughs> this platform is so dog shit. But really, for me personally, the reason why I hate um, this platform is one reason. 
There's one reason that's really made me. Uh, I love Goth Milkers. Excellent name. Thank you for the tier one. There's one thing that really makes me mad about Twitter. Okay. That makes me relentlessly mad. I've heard some people say that the thing that's made them relentlessly mad is uh, the fact that like now the reply guys, the blue checkmark reply guys are promoted in the algo and they're first. So when you're like looking at a tweet and you check the replies, you see the worst replies first. Okay. But that's not my issue. My issue is not Hassan's clear point and correct point that it's filled with right wing Nazis. And my point is not that the right that the fucking blue checkmark dipshits get promoted first. No, no, no. It's either of those things. It's the fact that the website fucking breaks on you. Like currently, the current problem that I've been dealing with has been if you're on your desktop, not on mobile, on desktop and you try to switch between accounts, it, you have to switch four times before it actually lets you switch your account. So I'll be like, okay, I wanna go to my alt Twitter, switch, it's still on my main Twitter, switch, it's still on my main Twitter, switch, it's still on my main Twitter, close the, fucking close all of my Google Chrome instances, reopen it, switch, it finally switched, thank God, it finally switched. Videos just breaking if you try and skip any amount of it, any amount. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Sometimes they just stop playing in the middle of the video. <laughs> Sometimes they just don't want to work anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's so stupid. It's so... It, have you tried turning off the Obama? I've tried everything. I've tried using Firefox with no extensions, nothing. I've tried... Chrome. I've tried incognito Chrome because I was like, well, maybe this is like something with my cookies or something. I've tried everything, dude. The only thing I haven't tried is like, uh, uh, what is it called? The uh, Edge. But that's because I'm not going to use Edge. No. Mm -mm. No. Check your internet speed. <laughs> I have the best speed. The best speed that's ever speeded. Okay. Duh. Also, that doesn't change or fix the problem of trying to switch between my accounts. Why? Why? Maybe it's an ad block breaking Twitter, but that's why I opened Firefox that has no extensions and it still doesn't work. <laughs> it just like doesn't work like certain problems. Hey, guess what? When you fire 80% of the staff, it turns out some of them were actually doing something. Whoa, a shocker. Some of them were making sure that the website just doesn't break. <laughs> it is not a me problem. It is not my internet. It is not my extensions. It is not my cookies. Okay. It is Elon firing 80% of the staff and then being shocked when things break. That's the problem. That is the problem. And that is what I have an issue with. Okay. I am cool with a lot of bad features, but I want the website to fucking work, dude. I want it to at least try and work. I thought you meant YouTube. No, you YouTube works great. Now, what the algorithm might promote to you is different, but YouTube works great. Basically, the difference between at least like a Democratic administration, which does fill the agencies, you have the NLRB doing phenomenal work. You have uh, Lena Khan uh, uh, doing phenomenal work at FTC. You have the EPA, at least relatively competent. These are all issues that are going to become Massive complications down the line when you have something like Project 2025 openly talking about abolishing the the uh, Department of Education, abolishing the EPA. Like, and that's precisely why people like Jenk and myself, who are not exactly big fans of Joe Biden and haven't, you know, haven't shied away from criticism, see the writing on the wall, see exactly how damaging someone like Donald Trump's uh, second term is going to look like. And, and see how damaging Republican policies have become and how reactionary the Republican Party has become, even more reactionary than before. Yeah, uh, I mean, look, I would also imagine. say that... that and, your life and what that says you think you've hit on that's why we Hang on, hang on, don't talk, don't don't talk once. I'll come to you. Uh, Asan, I think you've hit on something, though, which is it was not only Biden's inability to hold Trump to account for the lies he was telling, <laughs> but also his inability to sell himself and what he's achieved. Because there are achievements there. Absolutely. But actually... He's been incap incapable. Gavin Newsom in that one-minute clip I showed earlier was able to articulate better achievements by Biden than Biden's been able to do. That's why Biden's approval rating is in the tank at like 37%. Jenna, I want to bring you in here for a kind of 
uh, summary of where we are with this. What do you think happens now? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think what's remarkable that we've seen in just the last 12 hours since the debate is that the Democrats are... I think that's it. That's the end of it. Like, the rest of it is just a her chirping, and then we end it. I didn't even know the Valetainment guy was going to be there. I just knew that Jank was going to be there, and I was like, uncle nephew time. You know what I mean? It felt like I was back <laughs> on the Young Turks. And family bonding time. <laughs> For a moment. Holy f This already has a million like views? Better. Jesus Christ. Do we I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you, dude. Piers Morgan... He's fucking content brain to shit. Really want to California, the whole country? See, they're already saying it. Dude, I can smell Jake's nephew through the screen and my nose ran around the other side of my face. Who's the toddler at the end? The dude in the red is so high off coke, Lamal. Piers Morgan losing all credibility, having morons like Hassan on hard skip. It's so funny how people outside- <laughs> Hassan didn't even say that much during the fucking episode. <laughs> Out of California, just think it sucks here. I don't mind since they will stay where they are, but it's just funny to me. I know. It is my favorite thing. It is my favorite thing when motherfuckers will be like, dude, you don't understand. California is a crime-ridden hole. And it's like, bro, I live here. I don't know if you know this, and it might come as a surprise to you. But it's the same thing as when people are like, um, New York, people are getting stabbed on the street. It's like, okay, first of all, people are getting stabbed in the street in New York for a long time. Second of all, okay, I'm gonna say it, all right, okay, crime rate is way, way, way the fuck down. Third, I'm sorry. 90% of the areas in New York are so safe. You wanna know why they're so safe? It's because there's so many fucking people everywhere. If you tried some shit, about 10 people would beat your ass. Okay, you kind of can't get away with just like pulling some crazy shit in the middle of Times Square. You, you, you can't. Also, I'll say it, if you get stabbed in New York, what did you say? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 It's like when people bring up the uh, the statistic about women getting abortions in the third trimester. It's like the vast, like, I think it's like 99% or more of the abortions that occur uh, in the third trimester towards the end of the pregnancy are because there is a significant risk to the mother's life or because the fetus is just not viable. And the doctor is like, hey, you can give birth, but I want you to know your child is not going to live more than a few hours. They haven't fully developed correctly. I'm I'm sorry to say that. So we can do this procedure or you can give birth. It, it's up to you. You can make that decision yourself. If that's something you want to do, then you can do that. But if that's not something you want to do, you don't have to do that. This idea that like women are waiting nine months and they're like, hmm, well, I kind of changed my mind. Now that I'm the size of a watermelon, I kind of don't want this thing anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to go get a bunsy abortion. No one does that. The statistics show us that no one does that. Th that's not what happens. No one is getting abortions for funsies. Okay? Most of the abortions because of the decision of, like, I don't want a kid happen in the first trimester. The vast majority of abortions that occur for the cause of I do not want a child are in the first trimester, which makes sense. Who the fuck wants to go through pregnancy? When you don't even want a kid. No, no one, I promise you, no one is like, well, I know I don't want this kid, but I'll just keep him around for a little bit. Ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. In the same vein, like no one, is, there aren't like severe, severely large <laughs> groups of the population in like California or LA or New York that are like shanking random strangers. It's not happening. If someone gets shanked, 99% chance if it happens in New York, they deserved it. They said some shit, okay? They, they called an Italian person Frito, which at that point, yo, you, those are fighting words. Like it's not my fault fucking Cuomo is ready to kill you, man. That's like, you picked that fight. I don't know why you picked that fight. That's you, man. That's you. <laughs> Shit. I'm not stepping in. <laughs> that's not my, uh, that's not my, uh, 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 no. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Talk should get hit, man. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry.
sure, man. What happened to accountability? What happened to conservatives talking about accountability for your actions? Hmm? Hmm? Whatever happened to that? Oh, that only applies when you want it to. Okay, got it. Sorry. My apologies. My apologies. Anyways. Yeah. California is not a shithole. Los Angeles is not a shithole. New York is not a shithole. If you don't believe me, go visit them. Do they have shithole aspects? Yes, of course. One good example is that state uh, and city cleaning is not great. And like relative to other first world countries or developed nations, we just don't fucking clean anything here. We don't. Like our streets smell like pee. But if you go to like the middle of Mississippi, the streets smell like pee there too. And that's just because like we don't have courtesy. Like we just do not respect the people around us. And it's a very individualistic country. So when the decision is, do I pee in the middle of the street or no, other countries might have the idea, well, I wouldn't want to have to deal with everybody else, you know, inhaling my, my pee stink. Whereas here in the U.S., it's like, well, everybody else is doing it. <laughs> this shit is gross, but like, I'm sorry, man. That's not a, a liberal city exclusive thing. Also, a big part of it is the lack of public utilities. Can I just talk about the fact that like, it makes me want to cry that there are not more trash cans in cities, even with, let's just assume that there are sidewalks. Sometimes you have to walk like 20 blocks to find a trash can. And then if you don't want to just throw your trash on the ground and like litter, you have to carry your garbage forever. It's like, oh, I got this like big gulp. I'm going to take a nice stroll. Oh, I'm done with my big gulp. Well, let me hold on to it until I find a trash can. 20 minutes later and you still haven't found a trash can? And it's like, where's the phone? Where are the fucking trash cans? Where are the fucking trash cans? Is this a joke? <laughs> yeah, it's nasty. Dog poop. Excellent addition. It normally doesn't take me 20 blocks to find a conservative. You out of pocket for real. <laughs> you out of pocket for real. Well, obviously, Denim, the answer is more capitalism. Silly me. You're so right. The answer is obviously more capitalism. How could I be so blind? How could I be so stupid? Foolish. But I live here. Yeah, sure. There's some problems, especially with Gavin Newsom. Some things that I address personally, but it's like pretty good. Los Angeles is what they're talking about. They're not talking about Central Valley. Nobody thinks about Sacramento. Even my from Sacramento are not thinking about Sacramento. When people say California, they mean Los Angeles. I'm sorry, chat. Sometimes San Francisco, but that's it. Not even San Diego. Yeah, of course there's parts of California. How do you explain to people that they are just out of their mind with this? How do you do that? Yeah, you don't. <laughs> you, you don't. There's just, there's too many people that misunderstand, well, because of propaganda the issues in our country and they blame the issues in our country on things that are not causing the issues. Sacramento is gentrified a lot uh, too. I've never been to Sacramento. I want a girl to look at me the way Denims looks at Hassan with disgust and disdain for his hatred of gay people. That's what you want? You know, there are restaurants you can go to where the servers will call you a piece of shit, right? You're in the wrong location. I'm sorry to tell you that. I'm a bad. I'm not a big LGBT faux fan. Okay. All right. Sorry. sorry. Oh, really? Where? <laughs> it's called Waffle House. <laughs> Hassan hates the gays, question mark. I'm just joking, to be clear. I just, just uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. 
Did I hear that Denim says she's not been to SF? I No, I haven't. I really want to go to San Fran. I really want to go to Sacramento. I want to go to the other cool places in California. I just don't leave my house. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> go, it's so beautiful. That tower no longer exists. It's fucking expensive, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to move to San Francisco. What are you, crazy? <laughs> Sack is the shit. Me when I love balls. <laughs> okay, I don't. Don't. Don't perceive me. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Bay Area crime is way overblown. Just don't leave shit in your car and you'll be fine. It feels like a lot of the people that are like, oh my God, the crime here is crazy. It's like, maybe if you do something really stupid. Like, I was taking trains in New York for at, at least five years. Taking public transport, going wherever the fuck I wanted to go. I never had a dangerous situation. I just didn't go anywhere that was sus. <laughs> like, that's it. That's that's literally it. That's It's that simple. Unless you do something really stupid, you're fine. Like, you're not... It's not like, it's, 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 it's going to happen to you. There are very sus places in Brooklyn. Dude, there's some sus places in Staten Island. <laughs> I was, like, walking around in Staten Island. Um... And I, like, left the, I guess, gentrified area of Staten Island. And I was, like, oh. like, with my friends, we, like, realized where we were. We're, like, <laughs> like, I'm seeing a lot of, like, hmm, a lot of not great size. Is that a, <laughs> why is there, like, an empty baby carriage, like, on the side of the road? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? We should go. There's a wheelchair. <laughs> Just like abandoned in the middle of the street. And I don't, I'm just gonna, um, we should, we should go back. <laughs> oh gosh. It's, it's just also like, it's not complicated. It's just so obvious. It's like, oh, I'm in a less gentrified area or like I'm in an area with less populated zones. Yeah, it's more dangerous. That's it. It's pretty simple. It's not that complicated. It's not, it's really not that complicated. My problem is like, instead of trying to fix those problems, because people don't commit crimes for fun, okay? <laughs> Rich people commit crimes for fun. Average people are not committing crimes for fun. They're committing crimes because they don't have their material conditions um, met. If you meet people's material conditions, they won't be committing violent crime anymore. If you care about these issues, you fix the thing causing the issue. That's it. I look white. I've lived in the hood most of my life because of poverty, and I've never had a problem with personal crime. I mean, I went to a school that was, like, a little bit sus. <laughs> like, someone got... I think shot or stabbed like a block or two away at the McDonald's <laughs> nearby or whatever fast food chain it was. And you know what? Low key. They probably said some fighting words. Like, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I never had a problem in the area. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Frankie, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Thank you. Thank you. But, like, hmm. Hmm. See, Mayor Cat, I think this video is pretty pertinent. Let's see it. How long have you been out here and how you get like this? I'm good. You want to do drugs? No. So why are you sitting on the ground? I'm waiting for the bus. 